I was working on this game that I'm trying to create for the 10,000 subscriber milestone and I got a perfect setup for a tutorial that was requested and it is for this hot bar right here that I have at the bottom to add key shortcuts. Currently the game is pretty simple, you just have to grow and collect the amount of crop that is displayed in the bottom corner. As soon as you do that you get the next order and that's the simple game loop that I have for it. Currently you can click on any of those icons and you can plant that crop but it'd be much faster if you can actually just click one two three four key on the keyboard and it's gonna actually select the appropriate one so that is exactly what i'm gonna show right now so for all these seed buttons i have a prefab and already added a script machine created a graph hot key and inside this graph the only thing that i have here is a start update and a super unit to a click event that I currently use to click on these items. So this is basically what we need. And now we need to decide which key is going to be assigned to which of these buttons. I'll create a variable, let's say key, and I'll use an integer since I'm going to use the number keys. So the first thing that we need to do on start is actually assign the correct key. So let's do a set key a variable on start. And the way that I'm going to assign the right key is looking at the index of the child inside of the seeds parent. There's an easy way you can do that and it is getting the transform sibling index that will give us the index position of this button. The index position starts with zero but our number keys we want to start from one. So to offset it we can just add a generic. So we want to add an integer one and set that final result to the key that we want to use now for the update we want to check if that key was pressed so let's add an if statement for the boolean we're going to use the input get key down and we're going to use the name option so for the name we're going to get this key and convert this to a string so integer to string and pass that value as our name for our key. If the key is down, we're gonna get a true, so we can trigger the click event. Let's close that, and now we can try it out. So if I click one, you can see that I have a strawberry picked up, two, tomato, wheat, watermelon, and so on. So that is much faster. If I click the same one again, it actually places it down. That is it for this video. Be sure to click on that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.